On today's Apple Daily, Apple Fitness launch is imminent. Windows on Apple Silicon is pretty snappy. And Linus Tech Tips finally notices that the M1 is pretty good. Plus, Notification Squad Pro Max. For the latest Apple news, rumors, and leaks, every weekday at 12 UTC, join us in the iCave. Thanks, Siri. And if you want all that stuff that Siri has just mentioned, you need to subscribe to the channel, like this video, and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss a thing. And you can join our Notification Squad Pro Max as we'll be uh, announcing at the end of the show. Apple Fitness launch is imminent. Apple Fitness Plus was announced by Apple to be launching at the end of 2020. So the timing makes all the sense in the world, just like my t-shirt, and it will be part of Apple One Premier, which is the $30 a month or £30 a month version that is available in like six countries, I think. It's not a huge amount of the world, but it is certainly their highest tier. It comes with the two terabytes of iCloud storage, and it is the one that I'm gonna be going for, which also comes with Apple Arcade, comes with Apple Music for the family membership. It comes with uh, Apple News Plus, which uh, nobody in the world cares about. And of course, Apple Fitness itself. Now, I'm really up for Apple Fitness Plus because right now, going to a gym is horrendous. Um, I used to really like going to the gym. I used to go five or six days a week. However, since the pandemic, uh, I reactivated my membership and went like twice, I think. And it was just a horrible experience because Everyone's having to stay apart. You're having to wipe everything down with sanitizers and stuff. And yes, all of this stuff makes sense and it is absolutely the right thing to do, but it doesn't mean it's something that I enjoy. So I canceled my gym membership and I got this thing instead. So this is my Apple Watch SE. This is the uh, the Nike Plus edition, um, which I picked up at the time uh, when I basically canceled my gym membership and decided to use that cash for this, so I'm going all in on Apple Fitness Plus. I will be sort of chronicling my journey. This will probably be something that happens on my Instagram account so that you guys here on YouTube don't have to be put through that. But if you are interested, iCave underscore Dave on Instagram. Next up, uh, developer Alexander Graf has been running Windows ARM on Apple Silicon and it's pretty snappy. So Graf achieved this using the virtualization through hypervisor framework along with custom patches to the QEMU virtualizer. Uh, and I'm sure that means something to the people out there that are a lot smarter than me. Uh, but any of you guys that are probably more into virtualization and into running Windows and stuff on your Macs, this will hopefully make some sense to you. He also mentions that it's able to run Windows x86 apps really well, almost as good as Rosetta 2. Even so, it won't represent a stable system in the current state, but it does give hope that if Microsoft decides to support it, that Windows for ARM will run really well on the M1 processor, and also the x86 stuff will be able to run on it too. On the subject of Windows, I finally managed to get Bootcamp to work on this thing and it was a little bit of a nightmare but I reached out to Apple support and the first thing they said to me when I mentioned that I was running on an external hard drive that uh, sits at the back of my iMac because I use an external SSD to run my main system on was well that would cause a problem because Bootcamp blitz your internal drive. So all of the problems that I had with Bootcamp were pretty much my own doing but we managed to get it all working, took me couple of hours there is a video on the way all about that so the massive issue was very much of my own making and caused bootcamp to fail at the first click every time and Linus tech tips finally notices that the m1 is actually pretty good even though he obviously won't uh, say that he was wrong about it because he never said it wasn't good he just said he was really annoyed about the way that apple presented it and i kind of see where he's coming from However, yes, they used kind of vague graphs and yes, they did kind of put some lines on unmarked graphs. What he was saying was they should have just said that Rosetta was going to run native uh, x86 apps at 75 to 50% of the normal native performance and everyone would have been super impressed. And I was like, no, they wouldn't because I wouldn't be impressed if I'd heard that. And I vaguely know what I'm talking about. So Linus, you don't know how marketing works. I'm sorry. Uh, this event was not for you, it was not for tech reviewers, it was for the general public to see that they have created new Macs that replace the old low-level Macs and are way, way faster. 
it's just nice that they happen to also be fast enough to replace most of the laptops in their range. Linus has spent some time with the M1 Mac Mini and didn't even seem to be particularly uh, bothered about the limited I.O. because he knows that this is designed to be the lower end of stuff. He mentioned about the multi-monitor support that has happened. Um, it's not support as such, it uses kind of software driven displays which don't perform as well as a regular one but if you absolutely just need screen real estate they could work. I personally think that going for a super wide or a 4K display should give most people all of the screen real estate that they need as an external display for these things. But Linus was super impressed by the performance of the M1 chip, even when he was comparing it against a Ryzen 5 with a 2070 graphics card, which is not really a fair fight. So into Notification Squad Pro Mac. And uh, before we get into this, we did do the live stream on Saturday and we did do the draw for who won all of the ESR goodies. Um, thank you to ESR for giving them to us. Um, this is not a sponsored video. This is just some stuff they sent us for review. And I said, well, I'm going to give them away because once we've reviewed them, I don't really need six cases for my Pro Max. And neither do you. But that is what you are winning, a Lego Vlogger. Um, so you've got a bunch of ESR cases coming your way, plus a wireless charger and a braided USB to lightning cable. Please drop me a message or a DM on Instagram or Twitter or wherever you are, or you can find my email address in the business section of the channel. New members to the Notification Squad Pro Max, because it is a big one this week, are Fred Hurt, Siguri Igni Kartajansanen, sorry, um, Sam Boomer, Dwayne Alfred, Duke of Kidderminster, Stephen, Renny Poulot, X, just there to X, Jonathan Pollock, Suvi Mukherjee, Richard Terras, Doshel Robinson, Sujas Joshua, and AJ the Gamer. Thank you all for joining the notification squad. We have got some more iCave Answers videos on the way. If you've got any iCave Answers that you would like me to answer, then hit me up in the comments using that hashtag iCaveAnswers. Thank you for watching this show, and I will see you on the next one.